everybody. Today is Monday, December 14th, and I'm going to take you guys along on my day, um, but first let's get ready. Alrighty, so I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you real fast the skincare that I use in the shower. I use the Monet Be Balanced Foamy Cleanser. Um, I use this every day, depending on when I take a shower. So it's super silly, I know, but I shower every day. Um, so I use this either in the morning or at night, depending on when it is that I take my shower. I love this stuff. My skin has seen a great improvement. Yeah, so I use this Monet Be Balanced Foamy Cleanser every day. And then I have this little, I'm going to take the shower for a second because I was not prepared. That was a cute angle. <laughs> um, so then I use this Monet Berry Refined Scrub Perfecting Exfoliator Mask like twice a week. Um, so I didn't use it today because I used it last night. And then I'll probably use it again on like Wednesday or Thursday, depending on which day I remember to put it on my face. Um, again, I love this Monet skincare stuff. Um, being 110% honest, I didn't love it for my hair. But that's just me. I'm very picky with the stuff that I put in my hair. But I love, 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 love their skincare. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it. Okay, I'm balancing you guys on my toothpaste right now. <laughs> so that you guys can see the rest of my skincare. I just dropped something. Um, so then I go in with this Monet Be Gentle moisturizer. Um, I absolutely love this moisturizer um, because it's not super heavy on my face. I hate when I feel like I can tell that I have moisturizer or any product on. Um, I just simply take like a pea-sized amount and it's enough for my whole face. I've had this container, I guess. I'm trying to see how much is in it. Okay, so it's 1.52 fluid ounces. I've had this for like two months and I use it every day and I've still got, you can't really tell. I've, there you go. I've still got a decent amount in there. Um, again, because you only need a pea-sized amount when you're moisturizing your face. Then I go in with um, this Zabzit. Um, acne treatment because I've got like stubborn acne spots that won't go away so I just rub that where those are and that helps clear it up for the most part um, and then I go in with this Murad perfecting day cream and this is the only makeup that I'm putting on today and that's not even makeup like it's just day cream typically after this I'll put on my makeup um, I'm not putting makeup on today just because I have really no desire to put makeup on today and I'm not. I just want to give my face a little bit of a break. I'm running errands today like I'm doing Christmas shopping. I'm picking up my niece from school when she gets up from her nap. Well from daycare when she gets up from her nap for my sister. I'm then going to go Christmas shopping so I'm going to pick up my niece and get my other niece and nephew off the school bus. Um, so yeah. So it's like 10.30 right now, I think. Let's see what time it actually is. Let's see. It is 10.45. So I'm going to get dressed real fast. I need to clean out the back seat of my car because I'm going to have my niece's car seat back there. I need to get dressed first. And then we'll be headed to Dunkin' to get food and a coffee and or hot chocolate. I'm not sure what I'm feeling this morning. And then we'll be headed to get some Christmas shopping done. Okay, so I want to show you two real fast. I put this Foxy Bay Flamingo Leave-In Flaming Flaming Glow Leave-In Cream Conditioner um, in my hair just on the ends. I got it for seven bucks at TJ Maxx, and I absolutely love it. Um, again, I love that I don't feel it in my hair. Like I just spray a couple squirts on there, spray it on the ends, and call it a day. Also, I wanted to show you guys real quick some products that I'm loving when I do put makeup on just because I was planning on doing my makeup today but I'm just not feeling it so instead of like putting a primer on my face I've been using this rose and apricot makeup priming oil and I absolutely love this you guys really need to check this out at again at TJ Maxx I think it was like three or four bucks um, and it is, it's amazing. I love it. Maybe tomorrow I'll hop on here real quick and I'll show you how I do my makeup since I'm not doing makeup today. And also I've been loving this Rose and Cactus Ultra Nourishing Facial Mist. I got this for like three or four bucks at TJ Maxx and 
it's awesome love it you guys really should check that out um if you guys are wanting to try different products i'm sure you guys already know this because we all love tj maxx but if you guys are wanting to try different products and you don't want to pay like a hundred dollars on new products go check out tj maxx in their skincare face oil whatever aisle and just try different things like i had never tried a serum before and i tried the and it's not even really a serum like i had never tried an oil like this before and i got it for four bucks and i absolutely love it and i'm gonna be really sad if i have to pay normal price again for it but i will because i know i love it so much if that makes sense but all right let's do let me get dressed and then i will be back all right the car's been cleaned out i am on my way now to duncan i will chit chat with you guys until then until i get to duncan it's literally just up the road then i have to like get on the expressway and i don't want to be vlogging while i i'm on the expressway just because I just probably shouldn't, you know, trying to be a good kid. A little bit about me, I guess. I am 21, almost 22. I graduated from a, that didn't work. Okay, I'm gonna try and hold you guys so you don't fall like you did earlier. Sorry, you can't see me right now. Basically, I'm 21. I graduated from a very small two-year program that's about an hour and a half away from my hometown. I graduated with a degree, with an associate's degree in human services, which is a lot like social work, and a minor in psychology. I worked, so I graduated college at se, uh, high school at 17. So I finished my two-year program at 19, and then I was like, I worked in it for like six months, and I was like, this really isn't something that I can see myself doing for the rest of my life. So I, got accepted into an accelerated education program. Meanwhile, all of this is going on. I was working at a daycare, which is where I currently work. I am a lead toddler teacher. Best job in the whole entire world. I love my job. It's stressful at times, but it, I wouldn't, wouldn't trade it for the world. Yeah, so I was originally going through are going for um, childhood education, which is grades first through six, with an extension in grades seven through nine. But then I was like, I don't really want to do this either. Hold on just a second, I'm gonna order Duncan. Hi, can I have a plain bagel toasted with cream cheese? Okay. And can I have a medium hot chocolate with French vanilla? Okay. And that's it. Okay, bye, please. Thank you. So I was about a semester and a half in when I realized I didn't want to like teach, teach. I wanted to stay in with the younger kids. So I finished off my second semester and currently just working and I am about to finish my child development associate, which is basically like a six weeks, six week program that certifies me in, in birth through school age so I can work with any daycare age child um, and just get paid better for it. I'm sure eventually, like, I will leave the daycare I'm at, excuse me, and get a better paying job somewhere else at a bigger daycare, like a kid start or something like that. But right now, I'm happy and content where I am. And to me, like, that's that's all that matters. So, yeah, that's really it on my, I live with, I, so I live with my best friend and we live in a three bedroom house, um, half a house. And we love it. We decorated it all cute for Christmas, um, which I'll show you guys later when like the lights are on and stuff, because um, you can see it better. Um, but yeah, that's basically all about me. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions, again, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram, and I will answer them for you. But it's Duncan time, and I will talk to you guys when we get to our store. Okay, we have arrived at our first destination. If you guys don't have a Christmas tree shop near you, I am so sorry, but you are missing out. I will show you what I can in there i don't know if they, they won't let me record but i don't really know if anyone's gonna notice because i'm doing it on my phone so we'll see love this store let's go shopping oh yeah my trip was so unsuccessful i got a couple things but like typically i can get my christmas shopping done in that store alone crazy honestly i think with everything going on like covid related I don't think a lot of stores have like gotten new Christmas stuff. So like I think it's all like leftovers from last year or like a very limited stock of this year's if that makes sense. Like I don't think that what I saw in there was like their typical 
what they typically have. So I'm gonna go across the street to Hobby Lobby and then probably to Target and Home Goods depending on the time. It's 12 o'clock now, I have to be back to my house at like two so I can unload this stuff and then go pick up my niece. So like, we'll see what I have time for. Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm gonna head over to Hobby Lobby. It's right across the street. And I know I'll be able to get some things there, but I don't know about the rest. So we'll see, I'll see you guys when I get there. <laughs> We're here, we're here, we're here. Alrighty, I was much, 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 much more successful in Hobby Lobby as I usually am. Um, so now my last stop of the day is going to be to Target. Okay, so I ended up running into the mall to check children's place because I'm looking for matching pajamas for my classroom. I'm having the worst time finding anything. It's hard because I'm in the toddler room, so I have age 18 months to three. So most of my kids are at about 24 months size clothing, 2T maybe, but I can't find, even like to break it up a little, like if I could get the girls to wear one or the boys or every other, or if we just all looked similar, like that would be so fun. I can't find matching pajamas anywhere. I've checked Carter's, Children's Place, Target, two Walmarts, and there's a couple other places that I've checked, JCPenney, TJ Maxx. So I think I'm just gonna have to order them off Amazon. Even if I just got matching pants and then went and got like a black t-shirt or something like that for them to wear. That's gonna have to be what I'm gonna have to do. All right, it's 1.45 now. I'm going to run to my house real fast, drop off this stuff, and then go pick up my niece from school and yeah. So I'll see you guys when I get home. Also, I am gonna show you guys everything that I got. I would like to do it when I get home, but I just don't know if I'm gonna have time to then get my niece. So we'll see, but I will show you whether it's tonight or later, whether, whether it's right when I get home or later tonight when I am done babysitting my niece and nephew, my nieces and nephew. So I'll see you guys later, bye. Okay, it's many, 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 many hours later since the last time I talked to you guys. I picked up my niece, I babysat, we're good. It's seven o'clock. I just got some dinner. I'm going to show you guys what I got real fast that I'm gonna eat and watch some TV. And I got this little pedicure kit today, I'll show you. So I think I'm gonna do like a pedicure, an at-home pedicure type thing. So let's, let me get into the haul. Hopefully that stays, you guys are balanced on a box. So, this is from Walmart. I just got these two Christmas themed socks. This one says rocking around. And then it's just around a Christmas tree. They're the aloe infused ones. And then I just got some ones with lights on them that say merry and bright. I just love these aloe infused socks in the winter time. And I like that they've got Christmas stuff on them. So there's that. Then I got three of these humongous ornaments for my roommate slash best friend. She's wanted these for so long and we found a couple this year to put, to decorate our house with. But I got her a couple more for Christmas because she'd been eyeing them. So I got her this green and red one. I got her this silver one. That's got some sparkles and stuff on it. And then I got her a gold one that looks just like this, except for it's in gold. It's still in the plastic, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but it's pretty cool. So those are for her and that. Oh, and then I got these cute little bell earrings that I'm planning on wearing to work. I don't know if I'll be able to wear them all day just because I don't know if I can walk around and hear that all day, but we'll see. So those are cute. Those were $3.99 at the Christmas tree stores. Then I got just this cute light necklace. I think it lights up. You have to turn on and off, press button on battery of necklace. necklace yeah. So they light up. Just cute things that the kids will love. Then I just got some packaging tape because my uncle and cousin live out in Michigan. So I'm gonna be sending them a whole bunch, whoa, sorry, a whole bunch of stuff for Christmas in the mail. Then from Hobby Lobby, I got this big flamingo sign, like 
art decor piece um, for, it was $21.99 and then 40% off. So I got this. My roommate loves flamingos, so I just thought this would be cute in her room or something. There's that. Then I told you guys I was having the hardest time finding something for my dad. And I saw this and I just knew that he would absolutely love it. It is a two-speed milkshake maker. Um, I got it for 50 bucks but it was also 40% off. So super cool. Um, he loves milkshakes. So I just thought that this would be cool. He'll be able to make his own milkshakes. I just th thought it was a super cool gift idea for someone who um, loves milkshakes. So I'm super happy I found that. He's done now because I have a couple things for him already, but not a bunch. Then I got this picture frame is just a four by six it's got some geometric design i don't know if i'm going to give this away or keep it for myself just because i love picture frames like this and i don't have any since i moved i got rid of a bunch of them i just think it's super i'm trying to show you guys the design it's super cool super pretty and then i got a bunch of this vinyl for my cricut machine that was that. Then I got also at Walmart, I got these Santa plates for our class party that we're gonna have. That's yeah, so that's it. Wow, I feel like that was a lot of running around for not a lot of stuff, but um, so then I got this pedicure kit from CVS. It's got everything you need for a bomb pedicure. Um, I just take a big, like I have a bowl of water typically that I just put my feet in and then I do this. I also got a Christmas card for my uncle. You guys don't have to see pictures. Um, I got this nail rehab strength treatment. It instantly hides imperfections, intense care for severely damaged nails. My nails, I ripped off my acrylics. I know it's bad of me, I'm sorry um but i'm hoping that this helps them for like a, um the nails like when i put nail polish on we'll see i don't know um and then i just got this really cute red in um sailor hansen insta dry nail polish and this essie gold um i can tell you the numbers this one is 383 asap apple and this is 946 Summit of Style. Um, I wanted to do like red and green, but they didn't have any green nail polish. And I don't have any green nail polish either because I don't typically paint my nails. So yeah, that was my trip. I'm going to eat some dinner and then do my nails and stuff. Well, I kind of do both at the same time. So yeah. Catch you guys later. Good morning guys, my name is Mackenzie. I am 20 years old, I am from Central Florida and I currently work as a substitute teacher. I am in college and I'm an elementary education major. Today is December 17th and I'm going to take you on a day in my life. I have a few things planned to, um, for today. Right now I am about to go get my lashes lifted and tinted and um, my brows done. We are going to do um, some henna brows. I've never had this done before. Um, I'm so excited to do it. So right now I'm just showing you the before. Um, my brows are kind of patchy. Um, I haven't waxed them or plucked them in a few weeks just in preparation for this. They do grow very fast. Like I said, they're very patchy. Ignore my face. I know I'm breaking out so bad. Mask me is real. My lashes do grow pretty straight, a little bit down actually. So I think that this will be a good um, thing for me to just kind of lift them and cut my morning routine in half. It takes me so long to do my mascara because I'm so focused on getting my lashes up because my eyes are so small, as you can see. Um, it's just kind of hard for me um, to get them there to get my eyes to look bigger. A few other things that I have planned for today are making dinner. I love cooking, so I'm going to take you along with that. It's nothing special, really. Um, I have to go to the store to get a few things, um, probably wrap some Christmas presents. I'm so behind on wrapping, and everything is just sitting there, so I don't want my sister to see any of it. And I have to make a few things with my Cricut, so maybe I'll do that today. I'm just so excited and so thankful to Amanda. 
um, for letting us do this. I'm so excited to show you guys um, the process of what's going to go on with my lashes and my brows. And um, I hope that we are going to have a good day together. Hey guys, I just got done with my appointment. We did um, brow lamination and then some henna, I believe. Um, this is it up close. We also did a lash lift, so as you can see, my lashes are a little bit darker and definitely more up. Um, it's very different for me. This is not what my brows usually look like, so I think it'll just take some adjusting. They look very, very dark compared to my hair, whereas before they were just kind of like a light brown, but this is very dark for me. I guess it'll just grow like have to grow on me maybe like the day after it'll look a little different um but i don't know it's just kind of scaring me right now because of how big and um how dark they are so i don't know right now i think i'm going to run to um get something to eat probably mcdonald's i know it's not healthy um not very good I'm working on that, but um, it's just something quick and easy right now. I'm just gonna get something small. After that, I am going to run to my hairdresser and pick up a gift certificate for my mom for Christmas. I'm going to go do that and I'll see you guys soon. Hello lovely little fam, um, I just wanted to first apologize because that day did not go as planned so I didn't get to film the rest of the day um, and I just want to hop on and give a quick update on my brows. It's been a little under two weeks. Uh, when I first got them done they were very very dark, too dark for me especially because of like this part of my hair. So as you can see most of it has came off my skin. And it's mostly just on the hairs now um, and my lash lift um, has gone down a little bit a lot of that I think is because there has been something in my eye the past few days and I cannot get it out I think it is scratched I think my eye is just scratched so I'm gonna go see um, about that in a few days I am out of out of town right now so I can't really go to my optometrist but you can see my eyes very red and I've been using a lot of eye drops and like rubbing them off so my lashes have gone down a little bit this one is still still sticking up there a little bit but I just wanted to um, thank Amanda for this opportunity it's been um, so fun what little I have done so, um, sorry about that I hope that I can make that up with my Instagram takeover on January 17th that would um, be really fun. I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you all had a great Christmas and I hope you all have a happy new year and just pray that this year um, so much better than last year. Um, we have all gone through a lot 
and hopefully we can just make it up to this year. So um, thank you again and I will see you soon. Make sure to tune in to the Instagram on January 17th and I will be there. See you guys soon. Bye. Good morning. It's Tuesday. December 1st. I need to see if I got my passport. I'm going to take over the day because I have a takeover today. I will come back to y'all when I have the email and whatnot. We'll see. I'll see what happens when I come back from dropping off my son. As of right now, I'm going to go get my son ready to go to his school. So. Alright guys, I'm sorry. Um, you will not be seeing me today at my son's school. I will see y'all when I get back. My camera battery is flashing at me. I forgot to charge it last night. I'm sorry guys. And I'm just coming in to let y'all know that because I feel bad. I forgot to charge my phone. I mean my camera battery last night so now my battery is flashing at me. And I didn't know that. So, I will see y'all when I get back from dropping my son off. I'm sorry that I can't show you that I'm gonna be there. But I will see y'all soon. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry that y'all weren't able to see me go to the school and whatnot, but I am first gonna take my medication because I know I need to take it. And then second, I have gotten now all Christmas gifts that I am going to be packing up for my mother and my father and my son. Um, I have not got my husband anything yet. I don't know what to get him. And my brother's gift will be here on the tent. But I've got plenty for my bro my son. I'm going to do... I'll let y'all watch me wrap all these a little bit, I guess. All right, so I know you can't really see much of me because I am sitting on the floor, but I am wrapping up a gift for my dad currently. So I'm going to see what I can do here. Because I got two. And I know my dogs are in there whining because they want to come out. I'm not going to let them come out right now because I am wrapping gifts and I don't have time for them to want to come out because I really don't need them to come out right now but I am currently and this is going to get on my damn nerves this dang tape I don't want to freaking cut off never wants to cut off where I want to cut off. Because now i got to re-wrap, re-put this back together the way I had it. And the tape just got stuck. Mm. 
to do this. I need to do this. Let me get it back the way I had it. And then grab the tape off my scissors. But yeah, I am, this tape is not one that work for me, so like, it's going to piss me off for the night's over with. And the night hasn't even started, it's still kind of daytime. And I am taking over on the, um, Lovely Little Fam Instagram today. So that's why I have my stand and phone, um, on its charger because I am taking over I just did my makeup for y'all that want to see it uh, it's that I did not record that I recorded it on the lovely lily lovely little fam um, Instagram if you want to go watch those uh, stories Ugh. all right I'm gonna play my game and share some more on the lily lovely little fam instagram and i'm gonna play the black ops call of duty game now i need to uh go back to the beginning but yeah we're gonna play that and i got my stand here to do my lovely little fam instagram post what not so all right i am still sharing my day on the lovely little fam Instagram is if you can see so if you want to go watch me go check it out so and I'm fixing to do some laundry so you can see me do some laundry because I need to do my uniform and whatnot so yeah all right I am going to replay my game I'm thinking about playing my watchdogs instead. Yeah. I think I'm going to go put in my watchdogs. So, I'll let y'all watch me there. Game. Or play my game and eat my chip. I got some time to go to work. I mean, go get my son. Since it is almost time. So, I'm just going to play my game. And eat on these chips. And wait till time to go get my son. So... I'll see you in a little bit. Sun goes for you. I am. We are on our way to go get my son. I overslept. I was trying to take a little nap before I was going to get in, and I fell asleep. And I we were supposed to leave at 2:40, like the left at 2:47, 2:50. trying not to show my uniform a little bit but I am gonna leave here in a little bit I don't know what time it is because my Apple Watch is dead but give it a big thumbs up if you like today's video give it a subscribe down below for more comment down below what you want and make sure you head on over to the main channel to watch more of me or stay here on the vlog channel it's up to you don't forget to live love and laugh at some point and I'll see you on the next video bye